uh, hi today uh, we will be talking about uh, the uh, tracks of a uh, track that is covered a machine so we have a JCB uh, JS140 machine um, right in front of us and this is the uh, RX side track of the machine so we will uh, learn about uh, the tracks and how it works so actually uh, the track desk quadrum machines are used uh, in rough terrain applications so uh, simple type of uh, rubber tires will not uh, help the machine uh, to move to such uh, rough terrains uh, or through uh, a rocky or hilly area so that's why tracks have been employed on uh, this type of uh, excavator machines so this is a uh, very big uh, uh, 140 machine that is a 14 ton uh, machine over here uh, so uh, let's identify the main components of the track so what you are seeing over here this is the track shoes and uh, this machine has about 41 uh, track shoes on it and uh, the drive uh, given to this uh, particular track is by the track motor uh, this is a track motor and this is a rear side uh, of the track uh, the track motor actually drives this track and uh, this is the rear side that means this is the rear side of the machine the track motor will be on the rear side uh, ideally and we have an idea uh, idler wheel on the uh, front side of the machine so the drive has been given uh, by the track uh, motor actually from here and this actually supports it and on the bottom the track shoes are uh, connected uh, using the uh, track links over here these are the track links as you can see and on the top we have a, a big roller which supports uh, uh, the track link which rolls over there and we have uh, uh, one two three four five six uh, about seven uh, rollers on the uh, bottom also as you can see one two three four five and uh, six uh, to seven rollers on the bottom and one uh, roller here on the top so that's uh, how a track that's covered a machine uh, uh, track actually works so i believe you got an idea about the track and why it is used on a track that's covered a machine thanks for listening